welcome back to another video if you've been watching my videos and you're my subscriber and welcome to the channel if it's your first time watching my videos my name is Roy I'm an entrepreneur I live here in Shanghai China and I just do videos about my life here as a foreigner in China so in our previous videos we've been talking a lot about the lockdown situation here in Shanghai in China in general and in Shanghai in particular and today is another update video about the lockdown situation in Shanghai. I didn't do a video in the past, I think three days, because as you know, the, the policies change every now and then. So you're tempted to record a video, and by the time you're editing that video, before you even upload the video, the policy has changed, and your video becomes obsolete. So that's why I waited for about three days before doing this video. So today I'll be talking about the the, the, the recent update about the lockdown situation here in Shanghai, China. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you're interested to watch videos about how foreigners survive in China, how we do business in China, how students survive in China, how to get admission in Chinese universities, scholarships and so on, then this is the right channel for you to subscribe so that when I do videos like this, YouTube will send you a notification and remember to subscribe and hit the post notification bell so that when I upload videos, YouTube will send you a notification and you'll be the first to watch my videos. So what's happening in China now? This wave of the virus that started this early this year in 2022 is like a bandwagon effect moving from one city to the next. Started in Shenzhen early this year and took affected Shenzhen for about three months to Jilin. Jilin was one of the most hit cities and to Shanghai. And Shanghai is currently going through the thick of it. And it has slowly started in Beijing and in Guangzhou. So you see how it's moving just amongst the major cities from Shenzhen to Jilin Shanghai and uh, right now as we speak Guangzhou is already in lockdown and Beijing has already started some precautionary measures so you see it's moving from one city to the other now let's talk Shanghai Shanghai is not getting any better yeah although they have increased the the number of uh, delivery services increased the number of delivery men more volunteers some online stores are now able to deliver food. Some stores are now open. More tests are being taken every now and then. So some cities are doing like the nucleic acid tests while some people are doing like the home antigen tests. Like this morning, I, I, I just did my, my home test. A few days ago, I did the antigen test. So right now in Shanghai, Shanghai has been divided into three different groups. And I'm going to explain in details what will happen in this three different precautionary groups. So the first group is called the lockdown areas. And these are areas that have had at least one positive case in the last seven days. So if your community has had a one positive case in the last seven days, you are considered as a lockdown zone and you cannot go out of your apartment. You can only go out for medical treatment or for very urgent uh, purposes. You can receive food under very stringent conditions and you cannot go out. So you are locked down. So the second group of areas are called the controlled areas. And these are areas that have not had a positive case in the last 14 days. Which means that from the lockdown area, if you don't have a positive case in seven days, then you'll be upgraded to a controlled area, which means that you've not had a positive case in the next or in the last 14 days. And remember, if in the next seven days, within get, getting to the 14th day, if you have one single case, you're downgraded back to a lockdown area. So you see how it moves from a controlled area. You go to a, a from a lockdown area to a controlled area. So if no positive case in another 14 days, you're now upgraded from a controlled area to a precautionary area. Now, precautionary areas, you're free to move out of your apartment, move out of your building, move out of your community, but you remain within your district. You cannot move from your district to another district, which means you cannot move from a precautionary area, even if you're free to a controlled area or to a lockdown area. You remain within your district. 
And if within those 14 days, if you have one single positive case, your area is downgraded again to a controlled area and can also be downgraded to a lockdown area. So you see, it's dynamic, but I mean, how long are we going to continue to stay like this? Which means that one single case can just lead your area from a controlled area or from a precautionary area to a lockdown area. So that's the situation in Shanghai. Right now, where I live in Shanghai, my, my area is still in a lockdown area, which means that we've had a positive case in the last seven days. And we're waiting to see what happens in the next seven days. If after seven days we, we have no positive uh, case, then my area will be upgraded to a controlled area. And if after another seven days there are no cases, then we, we, are, we will be free to move out of our community and just maybe work around with no gatherings, no parties, no occasions. But the funny thing is that a lot of stores, a lot of supermarkets and banks and social amenities are still closed, which means that you're just free to like go out, walk your dog, have a stroll around, maybe have some exercise and come back to your community. The town is still like literally dead. What we are hoping for is when the lockdown will completely be uplifted, when people will be able to go out freely and move about and do their normal activities, social activities and economic activities freely so right now this is the situation in shanghai we are still in a lockdown situation and we just hope that things get better pretty soon because like i said people are getting on their nerves people are getting crazy i mean like it's not fun staying at home for over one month without going out without being able to get food freely without having any economic or social activities so we're just waiting to see how long the government is going to take to clear this off so guys, this is what I got to share with you people in today's video. If you like what we're doing on the channel, please give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please don't leave the video without smashing that subscription button. Join us on the channel so that when we do videos like this, you will be notified and you will be the first to watch our videos. Until now, peace out. I'll see you in... Let's go. Yeah, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back